Hello all, welcome to the introduction of welding processes course. My name is Murugi Namitthalingam. I am an assistant professor in the department of metallurgical and materials engineering in Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. So welding is one of the major and important manufacturing process that is widely used to fabricate very large structures including ships and bridges and very complicated structures such as an aircraft engines and also even a very tiny uh, and uh, miniature components used for microelectronic uh, systems. It is important to understand uh, the physics of welding process, um, uh, otherwise you know, it is very difficult to uh, innovate new things and to, uh, to develop complex uh, components and structures used for demanding applications. Say so you just saw an, uh, one of the uh, processes I demonstrated, which uses arc as a heat source to uh, to melt and fill the uh, filler to make a joint. So in this class, uh, you are going to learn about uh, the physics of these processes, the the basic fundamental science that is involved uh, to make a joint uh, using um, uh, various uh, energy sources, and we will also understand the process characteristics of these welding processes. So this course is uh, uh, going to be uh, for 12 weeks and we divided this course into 7 units and each unit uh, you know, describes uh, the, the, the fundamentals of uh, each welding process uh, uh, which we are going to learn in the, during this course. Uh, so for example, unit 1, uh, we will have to understand the classification of the welding processes, how we can classify. Uh, these welding process we can classify based on uh, uh, the, the energy we use uh, to make the wells or uh, uh, we can also classify whether uh, we are going to melt the interface or we are going to do uh, the welding in solid state. So we will understand the classification of the welding processes in unit 1 and unit 1 uh, also you know, we will start understanding the, the physics of uh, the arc welding processes. So you have seen uh, the white uh, bluish white uh, uh, the spectrum in the starting of this video and that is an arc and uh, have you ever wondered you know, what is actually inside the arc and how we generate heat um, in this arc. So in the first unit we will understand the physics behind the heat generation inside the arc. For example, uh, we can look at uh, the, the role of shielding gases and uh, the role of waveforms and uh, uh, what is there inside the arc. So I am going to teach you about uh, the physics of arc in the first unit. And then uh, we will move on to the, the second and third units which can tell you the how we can make use of the arc uh, for various welding processes. So we will start with a gas tungsten arc welding process, the fundamental characteristic of this process and what are the modifications, advancements that are uh, done gas tungsten arc welding um, and the plasma arc welding and then we will move on to the consumer welding processes uh, which actually uses arc as a heat source but we consume, uh, we use fillers to uh, strike an arc um, and then we can melt the filler and we can transfer the droplets uh, to the uh, filling interface and we can make a joint and there are various arc processes uh, that uses a uh, consumable electrode uh, to make a joint and we look at uh, uh, the characteristic of all the consumable welding processes including GMAW, uh, including the, uh, the submerged arc welding, shielded metal arc welding, manual metal arc welding and flux core arc welding and we will also look at uh, uh, the physics of this process and what governs the droplet, the molten droplet uh, you know, uh, to transfer from the tip of the electrode to the, uh, the well pool, the force balance of the metal, metal transfer and uh, the voltage current characteristics of this process and which are very important to understand. So we can uh, select a suitable process uh, for to fabricate uh, uh, structures. The fourth unit uh, we will look at uh, the, uh, the welding processes um, um, that are um, um, carried out uh, using resistance heating as a, a prime heating mechanism. So the first three units, so we look at uh, the arc welding processes which actually uses arc as a heat source. Uh, the fourth unit where uh, we can look at uh, the resistance pot welding or resistance welding uh, which actually uses the uh, joule heating, uh, the current resistance as the main heat uh, generating mechanism and then we look at uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, various uh, classifications of these processes and the number of modifications that are done again uh, like we see in arc welding processes 
And then uh, we'll move on to the next unit. Uh, next unit, we will look at uh, the, the power sources uh, that we use um, uh, for arc welding processes, because the arc welding processes, uh, they use the varying uh, uh, power sources from uh, the, the old days you know, where we use the, uh, the simple uh, conventional um, uh, transformer based systems. And then nowadays, you know, we, uh, because of the invention of semiconductors uh, and, uh, and the inverters, the improvement in technology of uh, the rectifier systems and microprocessor system, and the modern power sources that, such as one you see in the background, um, uh, which actually uses uh, the advanced microprocessor controlled um, systems to generate the required waveforms. So we will also look at uh, uh, the, the physics, the fundamentals uh, behind these, uh, the, the welding power sources. Uh, unit 6, we look at uh, the, the power beam processes. What do you mean by power beam? Uh, is uh, the welding process is actually uses uh, the high power uh, uh, beams, for example, lasers and the electron beam or plasma beam as a heat source to make uh, welding. And uh, you need to understand uh, the, uh, the lot of uh, fundamentals of this process as well. And uh, we will teach you uh, the basics of this process, what is again the role of uh, this, uh, uh, the, the beams and um, uh, some of the, the important process characteristics you need to understand. For example, uh, these uh, uh, processes, uh, we use a keyhole uh, mode as an, uh, a prime uh, welding uh, strategy. So we need to understand the force balance in the keyhole, uh, what are the forces involved uh, to, uh, to generate the keyhole, to make the joint. Um, and how we can control these processes, uh, we can use these processes in the commercial applications. And then we'll move on to the, the last unit where we'll dis uh, discuss about the solid state building process where the interface is not molten. Uh, and we can use uh, again uh, the varying heat sources, we can use the uh, electrical energy or uh, the friction as a heat generation mechanisms. And we can combine the, the heat and pressure in most of the cases to make the joint. So we'll move on to the, the in last unit, uh, the solid state welding processes uh, such as uh, friction steel welding, uh, uh, friction welding, ultrasonic welding, explosive welding, uh, diffusion bonding, and addressing bonding. Um, and with that, you know, we uh, will cover the entire spectrum of welding processes. We'll understand the physics of this process. Uh, so what is the uh, learning objective? So what do you learn out of, um, out of this course? But at the end of the course, uh, you should be comfortable uh, with the fundamentals of this process. So when you say this arc, you need to, uh, you can explain uh, how does arc work, uh, how does arc generate heat. And you should also be able to uh, select a suitable welding process for a given application. For example, you are working in a field and uh, you are given a material to you know, weld and you'll have to come up based on the material parameters, uh, the geometry, the uh, load and then um, the uh, the commercial application, uh, uh, the, the environment, the component is going to be work. Based on all these condition, uh, you should be able to select a sort of a welding process to fabricate the components. So that is the important learning objective you are going to take away after attending this course. Um, I hope uh, no, you would make use of this course uh, and you find it uh, uh, very interesting. Thank you.